Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Starting off with your pollen levels, which are on the high side today. If you're sniffling and sneezing out of those itchy eyes, that could be what you're seeing is the high pollen count. If you're impacted by trees, you're going to be feeling that today because the alder, juniper, and maple pollen all on the high side. And even with today's rain chances increasing later on, still looks like I'm tracking high pollen levels the rest of the week, so keep the allergy meds handy. Morale mushrooms, those are also coming up, showing a sign of the changing seasons. We've had some sightings out in Grant County, according to thegreatmorale.com. Hopefully, through this week and next couple of weeks, we'll see more sightings across our area. Looks like we have several more hours to get out and maybe go on a hunt if you'd like, because temps will be favorable in the 50s to even low 60s later this afternoon. Yes, it's going to be breezy, and eventually we'll have showers and storms develop. Uh, but that looks like it'll be from 3 o'clock onward as we get towards later this evening. And you can see that we're still very dry and quiet here in southern Wisconsin. But I am tracking rain over into Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. That's our next cold front that'll swoop our way and increase our rain chances in the next few hours. So you'll see the clouds build in and then it gives you an indicator. Okay, the rain's moving our way. Exactly. Temps in the low to mid 50s right now. No wind chills even with the wind because we're just too warm uh, in the 50s at this hour. As we look at your future cast wind gusts, we have wind gusts around 10 to 20 miles per hour for now. Later this afternoon, as those showers and even a couple rumbles of thunder roll through, we can get gusts up to 30 miles per hour. But with those storms that could fire up, we could get gusts up to 40 miles per hour associated with that little batch of storms. That'll be out of here tonight. And look at tomorrow. We quiet down not as significant with the winds, only at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's track out the rainfall, though. Here we are, 2 p.m. You'll see some high thin clouds start to move in from the north. Here we are, if you're traveling for the evening commute, you'll run into some rain north of Madison. I think around 6 or 7, it'll be in the Madison area. This batch that could bring some lightning and potentially some elevated winds around 30 to 40, 45 miles per hour or so will exit around 8 this evening, but we could get a few more lingering showers before midnight. But after midnight, certainly quieter, setting the stage for a dry Tuesday. Could pick up around a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Not that big of a deal. Not enough to cause any flooding concerns, uh, but also not enough to knock that fire risk and pollen levels back uh, because it's just going to soak. It's just going to wet the ground just a little bit. So here comes that cold front bringing in the rain chances today. As the system gets out of here, high pressure moves in tomorrow. That means a clearing trend and a comfortable one, too. As we head towards Wednesday, we could see another area of low pressure develop, bringing more scattered rain for the second half of Earth Day. A recap of your forecast, 61 degrees today. Scattered showers and storms develop around 3 or 4 this afternoon from the north and then move south through the rest of the evening. 33 tonight with the showers wrapping up around midnight. And we'll get to the upper 40s tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, bit of a breeze, certainly cooler than today, but dry. Seven day forecast Earth Day is Wednesday and we have scattered showers to contend with in the second half of the day. Isolated showers Thursday, so not going to be a big deal or even a washout Thursday, but more rain develops Friday. So kind of looks like an every other day type of pattern. We get rain today, not tomorrow, yeah. then it's back to more wet weather to get through the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. But the weekend right now looks fine. Definitely. And you know, even though there is that rain, it's just nice seeing that I think I think it's finally spring. Right. Last week we were talking about highs only in the 30s. Mm -hmm. I had to bring my winter coat back yes, out. Same. It looks like that's all behind us now. All right. Great. Good news. Thanks, Max. You're welcome.